I want to start with congratulations on the movie. Oh, thank you so much. Seriously, congrats. Thanks, bro. Mm -hmm. um, so, a ton of questions, but how tough was it coming up with an authentic way for the two main characters to meet? How much did you debate uh, making? Because, you know, you need to, you, the audience needs to buy into, oh, this is where people might actually meet. Yeah, I was telling Lauren that, that when I talked to Jonah, we, we were just riffing about stuff and we were going back and forth. And someone actually did get in. I had a black Mercedes and I was waiting for someone. And a white dude got in the back of my car as an Uber. And I just was like, first I'm scared. <laughs> and then I'm offended. <laughs> and then I'm, but I was like, it's an interesting way for people to meet. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of think that it was also a fun way to sort of, mm -hmm. to have that character sort of, you know, it, 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 it had a lot of social, had a lot of things because it was the social aspect of it. And she added that line, um, about like you saw a black woman, like the idea of like how she, that was her improvement, she was right. You know what I'm saying? Like the idea of like, there's a social class thing to it. Like you just think you can just, I'm a black, I'm, I'm, I'm a, an uh, inexpensive car and you're a white man, you can tell me what to do. There also is a fear factor as a woman, a man hops in your car, you know what I'm saying? Like that. There also is the moment that it gave levels because when he showed her, you know, the thing, it sort of, there was a, a twist and she was like, oh, okay, maybe. And we didn't get a chance to show, but their the original thing was they drive around the city, mm. you know, trying to find a thing. And there's like this great conversation, and he actually is spitting, you know, shooting shooting his shot, and she kind of respects it because he's funny and he's taking some taking some chances. So we felt like it was a really sort of it gave us a lot. It gave us like where you could understand how these two people could sort of like get to where they were going, and mm. you know, it was an interesting sort of like. We, I hadn't seen that before. No, I totally bought in. I was wondering how the, the how it was going to go with you know the meeting, but um, so I read could be wrong that you actually didn't audition for this that you were that yeah, you were no, offered. I guess through my good. She friend. was begged. She I wasn't was offered. Not <laughs> she was begged. <laughs> what, what was not like true. You? What was it like for you though? Because it's it, not only are you getting offered like a great role, but you're working opposite Jonah and Eddie, which yes. is like, are you effing kidding me? Um, I didn't know Eddie was attached to this movie at first. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't at that point. Yeah, so um, it was really, it wasn't even about that. And they are great people. It was just like, I just wanted to make sure that I could participate in this film in a real way. And, you know. And I think that she, just in our meetings and talking about yeah. authenticity was the word that kept coming out. Authenticity and it, was a it, big it, thing. It sort of influenced the rewrite. You know what I'm saying? Is that we wanted this character to feel authentic to a girl who grew up in Inglewood, Walwyn Hills, to a girl who had these parents, to a girl who was experiencing this for the first time, and it really sort of helped shape, you know, what, what it was for me. So LA plays a huge part in this movie, and de deciding what locations you wanted to use, huge part, like Roscoe's, you know what I mean? On, like, I could make a laundry list, but what Simply was- Simply wholesome, gotta make sure we have something, because that is a big part of our- <laughs> 100%, which was the location that you like, no matter what, this has to be in the movie? Mm. Simply, Simply wholesome? wholesome? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, was it Simply Wholesome? Yeah, Simply Wholesome. It was like, cause that's like, people don't know about it, and now there's like this huge kick of like, you know, being vegan or being alkaline or being like just taking care of yourself, green juices and this. And this is a black owned business mm -hmm. that's been in the community for 20 plus 30, years. 30, eight, I think it's like, thir like it's a bit since the 80s. Since the 80s, you know what I'm saying? And been in the community and we know about it. And it's the idea that that was at the heart of what we wanted this movie to be is like things that can sort of really say who we are, but that now have spread it out, spread out past just that black, you know, what we were doing. Also, the prices aren't that bad there. They're not. Have you? Have and you the been? food's amazing. I have not been, but um, I did. Anyway, the uh, it's, <laughs> it's on my list, but I I I, I checked tropical it out. Tropical milkshake. When you go get a tropical milkshake with almond milk, it is the best milkshake you've ever had in your life. Uh, so I, I definitely want to talk about editing because ultimately that's where everything comes together. I apologize. It's a director question. It's okay with she, me. She was, but, uh, I, she helped me. I called, no, I did not. I called her in and was like, you know, oh. like, well, so I, I am curious, how, how did the film change in the editing room in ways perhaps you were not expecting? Mm. So my editor is one of my best friends. Her name is, is, is Jamie and I, um, Jamie Nelson, and I, I me and her have worked on everything basically that I do together, and, and she is a partner. Um, and we, 
you know, we argue and fuss and fight, but it is like literally, I believe that pain, editing is painting, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And you, I didn't want to be in the room and, um, and for this movie, we couldn't because of, for the first part of it, we got the lift, but I went to Hawaii and we edited it online and I was in Hawaii and I was like, literally, can you go back three frames? Can you do this? Can you add this? Can we add? And she, and we just, we saw it come together and she fell in love with Lauren and Jonah first. And she went in that sequence when they're walking and talking over that amazing song. And it was like, that was the heart to me of the movie. It's like, I wanted it to feel like real and I wanted it to feel like seamless. And I, I think that editing is the thing that, I learned as a showrunner that more directors need to take part in a really, really painstaking way is every frame, everything in that frame, every piece of music, how the coloring, this, it, that is, it's everything. Mm. I also really liked your transitions. Thank mm. you. Yeah, I thought those were really well done. I gotta stop. Uh, I'm just gonna say congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. I know you'll be making another movie soon. Thank, Thank you. you so much. For sure. Anyway.